as the song says, and sometimes other people. And his name is Dragor. So you're a dinosaur. Uh, sometimes, yes. Yes. I'm one of them furry folk, scalies. You've said positive things okay. before. Scalies. I'm glad. I can't help but notice when you speak, your mouth moves. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> wow. The way my friend got me in was showing me all the New Japan flippy stuff. Okay. Uh, high flying twinks is a great way to sell me on something. Uh, if you like high flying twinks, have you seen any of Brian's matches? Oh, get out of here, crap. <laughs> all I wanted to do was buy the show and start it from the beginning. I don't think I'm out of line or out of bounds saying that's something I should be able to do. It took me 15 fucking minutes to get this done. I paid $50 in Vinny Bucks to watch this show, and I was so frustrated and pissed off. If it wasn't my job, I would have shut it off. I was done. I was done. Finding out, by the way, that you actually could rewind if you started late actually makes me angry now. There you go. All right. Because I didn't think that you could do that, which is why that's... I fucking missed Zoolite's. Which, by the way, Dragor had dinosaurs, so I missed that. Luchasaurus' favorite match is Shawn Michaels versus Undertaker in Hell in a Cell. Fine taste in wrestling matches there. There was so much in this match straight out of that, that Hell in a Cell, yeah. which apparently was uh, Luchasaurus and maybe Jungle Boy's favorite match ever. And uh, good taste in matches. They come out to Carry On My Wayward Son by Kansas. If you heard this song and we're not singing along as they came to the ring and then continuing to sing along as the match continued, we just can't be friends. That's just all there is to it. Well, Brian doesn't know the words. I guess so they, uh, yeah. Vinny's lost a lot of friends well, tonight. Well, time to educate him. I was so <laughs> Oh, stop hider, it! Stop it! But I now feel you're too the one worried about being here all fucking night. As a result of the fight and the suspensions and folks disappearing... And storylines having to be changed and such and such. Shit kind of went off the rails here and there on the television show. Man, when the Young Bucks and Kenny Omega came back and were wrestling and this fucking crowd is going crazy, I thought, my God, this this is like, it feels like they're back. And they are back. The match was not good. I will read you exactly what I wrote on Twitter. Well, they tried. Was the crowd super into it? No. Was part of that probably them worried that Sarai could kill herself? Yes, because I felt that same way the entire time. So, yes, the crowd was chanting for TNA. My brain broke. But, man, I watched this match. I thought this match was very, very good. And when it was over, I thought, yep, Jamie Hayter is a legitimate AEW star now. Mox found a pair of red skinny jeans. MJF found a, a woman to motorboat. He did ask for permission, and then... Brrr. MJF has said forever he doesn't want to be a babyface. He's, he's obviously much more comfortable being a heel. If the people like him and they want to get behind him, it's not that hard to be a babyface. And if he does his babyface run and it just ain't working out, well, now Regal slides in the nucks. Ba-bam! Now he's a heel. I think that they, they should have given it a shot. He could have been top babyface, push him to the moon, and if it doesn't work, turn him heel. Because you know he can do that. Hey, did you watch a show the other day where we had a dinosaur on? No. What? I don't watch them all. Sorry. Oh. Too much profanity. Too much wrestling. Write a poem about Thanksgiving. Brian forgot to buy a turkey, so he ran to Fred Meyer, lickety split. All that was left on the shelf were chops, so he called up old Craig in a fit. There's no more turkeys, he cried. Craig sharpened the cleaver. He knew what to do. This Thanksgiving, they wouldn't have turkey, but a big old pot of Vinny V stew. <laughs> you lose, Grant. So Your poem was about cooking and eating meat. Like I always say, a cup of joe is very different to a cannibal. <laughs> like I always say, says Craig. Granny, let's do the wrestling report. What do you got today? Put your laughing gear on. <laughs> My laughing gear. <laughs> 7196. Uh, Grimes... No, already wrong. No, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not even sure Grimes was born in 1996. Valentine and Shea, uh, Savage. Valentine and Savage. Okay, that was 1986. 1993 is what I've got. I <laughs> copied it down. Okay, anyway, what happened? <laughs> five who's who are and five who are not, but I don't what it's. I don't remember what it was for. Five who are something and five who are not something. <laughs> okay, well, yeah. read and we'll try and figure it out for you. Okay. Bo, Bo, da uh, <laughs> Bo Dabbles. Bo Dabbles? 
Are you ready to fire me yet? <laughs> no. Not after Bo Dabbles. <laughs> this is Dave Meltzer's worst matches. Carmella. Shit. Backlash. <laughs> <laughs> Carmella and Backlash. No. 2018. Did, did Backlash Carmella win? And somebody at Backlash. <laughs> Cena versus Ivory. What? WrestleMania 17. <laughs> John Cena. That's J Granny. John Granny. Cena. You're thinking of China <laughs> versus Ivory. Uh, that's not Cena. Yeah. That's yeah. China. China. Okay. Uh, Sasha Banks versus uh, Maya Max. Jax. <laughs> Are you sure you're not reading the joke book? What is uh, Russell uh, Load <laughs> and Brian Hawks? I, I don't. That's what Vinnie got paid after his show. I don't. I don't know what Russell Load is. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait a minute! It's Russell Cade. Oh, oh well, that good. makes more sense. Where'd Brian go? <laughs> he's recuperating. He's, he's broken. You broke him, Granny. <laughs> Sheesh. I have head. never. I have. <laughs> we won't be back on Thursday. No Thursday show. Have a uh, an excellent American Thanksgiving, everybody. Mm -hmm. And that's it. We'll talk to you again after a while. Good night. Adios. <laughs>